And what I tell people is there's a big difference between rebuilding a cow herd and restocking a, a, a cow herd. The rebuilding starts at a national level, and that's what the media will tell you, and that's what the experts will tell you. We all want to happen. That's true. But first, you've got to get it down on the individual ranch level, and a rancher needs to restock to start with. Because we're going to look at what the costs are to run a cow uh, at various stages, uh, like at the start of a drought, during a drought, and then trying to rebuild after a drought. And then the unique thing about cow-calf operations compared to other components of the beef industry is that it's a totally different business model. When we start talking about cow-calf operations, we're talking about an asset management business where we have to pay attention to the fixed assets and, and the fixed cost within that operation. And the only way from a microeconomic theory standpoint, the only way to decrease a fixed cost is, is to increase the number of cows you have against it. Um, so anytime we get into a drought situation, uh, the example that I use is property taxes. On somebody that's got owned land out here, they may be paying $10,000 uh, in property taxes on, on their own land. The tax appraisal district doesn't care for a whole lot whether you've got five cows out there or 500 cows. The fact is you still have to pay 10000 Now from a, 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 an area of trying to be most efficient, obviously you want to have as maximum number out there that the resources are going to allow you to have. So that kind of moves us uh, into what I call the comfort zone and moving out of a comfort zone due to a drought. And when I talk about a comfort zone, I'm talking where our production on a ranch is maximized, where our expenses are minimized, and where our resources are protected. At the cusp of those three things is where I'm getting my maximum efficiency, and that's my comfort zone, that's where I want to be. And just as an illustration, when we get into a drought, it forces us to reduce numbers, and the first thing that happens then is our productivity goes down. Now, we want it to be maximized, but we also want our expenses to be minimized. Well, because of the fixed cost nature in cow-calf operations, anytime we destock like that, if we don't kill some of our fixed expenses, then our fixed costs go up. So it's, it's a cusp there and a balancing act uh, of trying to get back to restocking to where I'm most comfortable, where I'm most efficient as an operation. That's got to happen first. And that'll get us back to where we're currently at 29 million cows in this country. That'll get us back to the 31, 31 and a half million. Then we can talk about what the media wants to talk about is saving a beef industry because, again, reduced numbers as a whole tends to reduce infrastructure. That will get us to the point where we can finally rebuild. We've got to restock before we rebuild. And the first thing is making sure that rancher gets the, the numbers that he needs.